Hello everyone, in this video I would like to introduce you to an amazing simulation of lighting where you can test your lighting before going to a studio or just learn how to use different types of light to create a look. So this is good for both educational purposes and for testing your patterns of lighting before going to a studio. Here you can experiment with different types of light in terms of their intensities, their color, the quality, their patterns of different types of light together. This is the link. I will put the link um, underneath um, this video. And when you come to this page, you just need to click on press to start. And then you see different faces here that you can choose between. So I will choose this face. And here you see that you can have light one, light two, up to light six. And you see the final look here, but also you can see an overview of the pattern here. So now you see that light one is here right in front of the person. And this is the look that it creates. So here, this is the intensity of the light. You can increase the intensity or decrease it and change the look. Here, you see that for each one of these, if you hover on it, you, it will tell you what um, kind of action it does on different lights. And this is specific light. So here, it says turn counterclockwise. So I'm gonna just go back to this um, layout so that you see what happens when we do this. It rotates counterclockwise, right? If I press one more time. And now I go back to this and see how the look has changed and how now we have this shadow of the nose on the face that it shows that there is a light coming from this direction. If I even rotate more, you see now it's more on the side, right? If I do it even more, now it's exactly on the side. And if we go to the layout, you can see that in the completely horizontal line between lighting and the subject. Now if we click on the rotation once more, then it goes back behind the person, more on the back that you see just this rim, and now completely a backlight and then rim on the other side, we made a whole rotation around this character. So let's see what happens when we click on these ones. So this says, if we hover on it, it says move above. So we click on it and you see that the light has moved a little bit above and we know it from this shadow of the chin that is on the neck. If we go to this layout, we see that the light has moved a little bit above. If we do it one more time, you see that it goes even more up and it creates more shadow here and more highlight here. We can move down and you see it becomes kind of like the kind of look that you see um, more in horror movies that is under lighting to create kind of a spotlight on the face. Um, if we move more under, you see it even creates more of the shadows and those things. Again, a kind of um, lighting that is more used in horror movies, but not limited to them. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, so now if we move to these ones, um, you see that and this one says move nearer and this one says move farther. So if we move the light closer to the subject, that if we go to the layout, you see that we can move closer and here it shows the distance too and we can move farther. Um, it, it's now like limited between half meters to two meters um, and you can see the effect here. So this is when it is at two meters 
and the light is more flooding on the subject but as it gets closer it's more becoming spotty um, on the subject so this is also great to um, see how just moving the light closer and farther from the subject can change um, the look that you can create with that light a very cool addition is also that you can add gels so you are familiar with filters for example on instagram and maybe you have actually used gels to change the color of the light so it's basically a sheet that you can put on your light source and you can change the color so let's see if we can this is only one light let's put a red gel on it and you see that it immediately because that's the only source of light that we have everything is um, like it they have gone through a red filter if you change it to blue then everything is blue right okay so let's go back to neutral here you can add a second light too right so you just need to click on this and it activates the second light if you go to the layout you see both lights are in the same position so i'm just gonna go back to this so as i move this maybe a little bit counterclockwise you see this is the kind of look that i'm getting now with a combination of two lights and this is the layout light one right in front light two here it, you can go and f make this light solo to just see the effect of this and this is actually a thing that you do in lighting in a studio and outside of a studio too you would like to know the effect of each light by turning off the other lights and seeing how each light is contributing to the look to find out what's the best way of combining different lights so i go ahead and click on solo and now you see that this is only with light two right if i turn this off this is the combined look if i go back this is only light one i clicked on solo for light one and if I click on solo on light two, then this is light two. And if I turn this off, now this is a combination, right? So now if I add a gel, for example, to just this light, a red one, so you see that this part, especially that is coming from light two is more red, but this part is less red. And we kind of have a spectrum, especially if you look at this forehead, you have a spectrum from, um, red to more white light you can go ahead and play around with different patterns of lights and if you want to just like compare looks there's a great tool here that you can actually take a picture so if you just click on this now you have saved this as a picture and if I for example want to add a third light and the third light is here so let's move the third light behind right now the third light is exactly behind let's see what we are getting here you see these rims these are coming from the backlight it's um, kind of distinguishing the subject um, from the background that's one of the uses of backlighting and so if i go ahead and add also a little bit of like blue to this you see that immediately these become a little bit blue right so if i make this solo you see these are coming from the backlight and it's helping us to find out that there's a depth that this is not just a flat image and now i can capture another image okay now if you want to save any of these images you can just go ahead right click and save images on your computer wherever you want and then you can find it there so go ahead and try different looks try different patterns of light solo them see the effect of each one add colors and see how you can create different types of look 
with just this amazing tool at the comfort of just sitting at your computer. So here, there's also something called ambient, and this is just adding an ambient overall light to your image. If you click on it, you see that it just adds a uniform light to the image. So instead of working in a completely dark studio and just depending on these lights, you can also add an ambient and uniform light around to simulate a situation in a studio where you have uniform um, lights on the ceiling or if you're working um, in an environment that has that kind of lighting. You can solo it and if you solo it this is just the ambient. This is just the ambient light, right? And you can change the intensity, right? And if you, for example, make it more intense and take it out of solo, see it's very dominant and you don't get much of those um, effects that you got before. But if you go ahead and, for example, increase the intensity of any of these lights, you see that it's getting a little bit overexposed. Uh, what about this one, the backlighting? If you increase it, there's, there's not much that it goes on. So these are good to see, right? So not always any change is making an effect. That's why you can think of, hmm, where can I move this light? Should I move it closer? Should I move it farther? Should I move it above? Does it make a change? So you see that's like it is making these like blue lights that is coming from the top, right? On the head and on this shirt. If I turn off this ambient, this is the look that you'll get. It's kind of cool, isn't it? And you can see the texture of the um, shirt a little bit better in this one. And the texture of the hair, this is a very interesting look. So yeah. This is also about ambient light if you would like to add something to it. Another thing that you can manipulate is if you click on this manual, here you can control the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO of the camera that is capturing this image, right? This is a virtual camera. This is everything here is virtual, but you can think of it that if you're using a real camera, if you increase the shutter speed in your camera, so here uh, minus actually increases the shutter speed, right? And it becomes darker as you would expect because the shutter opens and closes faster and there's less light that goes through the camera. And here you can change the size of the aperture. You see, as the number of the aperture becomes lower, it means that the aperture becomes bigger and you will get more light. You can change the look with the aperture too. And ISO is the sensitivity of the camera to the light. So the higher the ISO, the light, the brighter the image is, but you will also add grains and noise to the image. So here you can control um, your camera and lens um, as well. I will go and turn off this manual and you can again take another picture. And here is your new picture. You can go ahead and turn off the ambient and take another picture. So you have all these pictures, different looks that you can compare with each other and this is um, good for educational purposes but also good for creating a layout of lights and see what you will achieve with different patterns before going to a studio, a very cheap way of testing your lighting patterns to create different looks.
I hope you enjoyed watching this short tutorial and you will enjoy using this amazing um, lighting simulation. If you would like to see more of these um, tutorial videos or me talking to filmmakers about their works, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please leave your questions and comments below. I will look at them and get back to you. Thank you so very much and see you soon.